Alright, man, so we back again with another video. As y'all can see by the title, we back again with our favorite villain. Uh, for me, it would be, you know, Joker, but uh, media-wise, social media-wise, or whatever, deleted. He been at the he been at the celebrity's neck. So now, I guess he got gunner now. We're gonna get into it. From here on out, everything I say is purely fictional and just for laughs. None of it should be taken seriously or considered evidence or used for any legal action. We are not. Honestly, I would say okay, yeah, you got a point. Sure, everything is. is is entertaining purpose but at the same time what if whatever you're speaking about is hinting somewhat certain facts how did that work gunna or ot of jam around these parts this is purely for entertainment this topic isn't for the soft or powder puff girls either go cry to someone who cares young thug officially pulled gunna's card for all you goofy snitching ass out here that have defended gunna saying he's not a rat the ones who have been clowning little baby and little dirt about them calling gunna a snitch and how they look stupid now that thugger is out and claiming gunna and thug are tight because of one clip you just expose yourself as the type that nobody should trust ever with anything you are the gunna in the friend group the ot of jams if i was your friends i'd side eye the hell out of you get away from me you can't sit with us you can't sit with us and thug you need to chill the hell out you are on probation gang what are you doing there's no way you missed the diddy house this bad already if you're here to spread that tired ass virtue signaling energy go ahead and click off now this topic isn't for you if you don't get street politics that's fine but coming here to judge something you know nothing about that comes off as weak and corny the streets run on a code of morals and principles whether you believe in them or not the same code that helped but it but I don't know. I feel like ever since the 6 9 situation, no one is really sticking to the street code. No one is really, fall, is, you know, going by the guideline. I feel like everybody's just been, like they said, they make being a rat cool. People rise up from nothing to something. They signed up for a lifestyle with rules that you don't understand and don't need to. Your opinion holds zero weight and no one cares if you get it or not. This video is for those who've been around the lifestyle or live the lifestyle, or maybe for the ones who just want to understand the lifestyle. I say all this because there are some people who call Drake a studio gangster, but the second a rapper backs up their lyrics, and things get real they're the first to judge and act all high and mighty they're the ones that are out here reciting every line word for word and bar for bar but when the lyrics start hitting too close and shit gets bad suddenly it's a problem if you can't handle the lifestyle stop listening to the music then what are we talking about here the hypocrisy of you fans gee whiz geez willikers holy smokes batman these are the same people who praises kendrick when kendrick also tells the same story but from a different perspective highlighting the lives and the code behind it all kendrick stands on all 10 by his principles and he wasn't here for gunna snitching ass either making that very clear in a verse on euphoria by calling out gunna while pulling drake's card yeah, i know some shit about niggas that make gunna wanna look like a saint i mean since everyone wants to compare kendrick to every scenario i figured we get that out the way and put that into perspective and now i just ramble too damn long off topic shit got boring but I needed to because on my last video, my little Dirk video, I had an army of people saying that they are actually for the snitches. And I actually blame Gunna and 6 9 for that shit. Like I said, they done made snitching cool. I guess you can go ahead and say 6 9 is the godfather of snitching. Only because the way he was trolling so much around that time era. And then all that shit that happened to him, he gets locked up and what he went to go. He went OTF jam type. It. Snitches are the snakes of crime because they are far more dangerous. They're willing to do crime and then turn on their 
their own to keep themselves out of trouble. That doesn't mean they're not criminals. That just means they're criminals without code, morals, principles, integrity, and respect. And that's far worse. Let's not get civilians mixed up with criminals. A civilian snitching is expected. A criminal snitching is a snake. Gunna is a whole b Go to motionarray.com and enter a world with over 2 million creative assets to bring your vision to life. Bitch. There. I said it. I said it. He's a bitch. <laughs> I'm crashing out. Let me crash out. Let me act like it happened to me real quick. Deleted. I'm sorry, but you almost remind me of the video where Gunna with that, uh, um, whatever event or the guy standing there calling, uh, calling him out that name. And the security came out. Like, what you saying? You know what you're talking about? That whole back and forth or whatever, some shit. Real quick. Act like it's all personal and shit. To free yourself by conspiring against your own will always be disgusting work. Bruh thought he could lose weight and be reborn again. Like we would forget just cause you're not fat anymore. Gunna, you went from being a fat ass rat to just a skinny one. You really thought you could shed some weight and he thought he could shed the snitch right up out of him. Nah, bro, <laughs> it don't work that way. You're not fooling anyone but your stretch marks. Your stretch marks knows, they know. That's why you have stretch marks. They're, they're a memory, those are your memory scars. And you better not make make another record ever talking about street nothing ever you're worse than drake a snitch is far worse than a pretender young thug can't go outside and claim ysl anymore he can't wear his chains or make music about it he can't wear ysl apparel or do anything that affiliates himself with the brand he built from scratch because of gunna's confirmation that ysl is a gang organization statements are true okay yes ma'am Yes, ma'am. YSL is a music label and a game, and you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. Yes, ma'am. You were present when law enforcement officers stopped the vehicle in which you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, wherein hydrocodone, methamphetamines, and a firearm were recovered. These items did not belong to you. Yes, ma'am. Gunna was and always will be labeled a rat. He's the reason Thugger ended up with the 15 years of probation and had to plead guilty. If Gunna hadn't confirmed YSL was a gang, the case wouldn't have legs to run. Without that statement, there wasn't enough evidence to hit Thugger with a RICO charge as some crime organization leader. They couldn't prove YSL was a gang without someone stepping up to say it was. This handed the prosecution the leverage they needed to keep building a case against Thug. If Gunna had kept quiet and played it like Thug did, they wouldn't have had much to go off of. The RICO charge was originally designed for Italian mob families. Prosecutors couldn't touch mob bosses because they kept their hands clean, leaving no trace, no wiretaps, nothing substantial that could stick in court. So they came up with the RICO to take down the bosses by connecting them to the crimes carried out by their soldiers or team who were acting under their authority. In other words, this entire case proceeded and lasted this long and concluded the way it did because of Gunna's plea deal, his statement, his snitching. Y'all gotta remember, this is the feds. This is the feds. They're not doing shit for you unless you do something for them. They, they, they're not gonna just help you out for no reason. You gotta help them back. He scratched their backs and they scratched his. Even though I'm pretty sure evidence or other witnesses may have eventually came forward and confirmed YSL was a gang. But Gunna's actions solidified that perception first, all because he prioritized his own release from prison. His selfish decision hurt Thug more than anything else. It's comments like these that really grinds my gears. How is a man who snitched on himself calling someone a snitch? Thinking face. Why are you even here? You could tell you just don't belong in this discussion in the first place. Thug had no choice but to take a plea deal. Because of the statement that Gunna confirmed of YSL being a gang in the beginning of the whole fiasco. No, this isn't snitching you morons. The spot was already a officially blown the fuck up because of Gunna's confirmation. The bed was officially made. 
because of Gunna's plea deal. If he would have never confirmed it was a gang, they could never prove it unless other things would have came up to prove them otherwise. It would have came off as assumptions when Thug was claiming it was actually a record label. All right, man, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Y'all hit that like, that subscribe, man, and uh, comment, on what should I, comment on who I should react to next or watch. I don't know, but either way, one.